Welcome to the Zerto Master of Disaster series. In this webcast, we'll be doing migrations with Zerto Virtual Replication. Here's the agenda. We're going to review the ZVR architecture and review VPGs. Now, if you're unfamiliar with these topics, we have other webcasts in the Master Disaster series that drills in deeply into those particular components. Then we'll discuss the features of a move operation and then we'll actually move a VPG from Site 1 to Site 2. So let's look at the architecture. We have a protected site and a replication site. We've got our Zerto Virtual Managers installed at each site. We've got vCenters at each site. We've got our Zerto Virtual Replication Appliances at each site. So now we're ready with the architecture having it paired with the WAN connection there. We've got all the pieces in place in order to take a VPG that we create and then move it. Of course that assumes the VPG has fully replicated from the protected site to the replication site. The VPG allows us to collect together multiple virtual machines, group them together regardless of the host or the storage that they exist on, and put them together into a single unit that's being replicated from site 1 to site 2. Now after replication is complete we can either do test failovers or we can actually do moves and in this case we want to move all of those VMs to site 2 from site 1. So regardless of the storage at the source site or the host at the source site I can still move all of those VMs in a single unit to another site. And also the VMs in a VPG have right order fidelity between each of the VMs. So if I do a point in time recovery or move, then I'm able to select the point in time at, on one VM is going to be the same on all of the VMs in that VPG. I can also select boot order and if I need delays or force shutdowns, anything like that I can do very easily because they're all grouped together into a VBG. When you initiate a move, it's actually going to shut down all of the VMs at the source site. That's going to ensure that you have full synchronization between the source site and the target site and there's not a potential that during the actual failover that there was a bit of data still happening on the source site VMs. That is a subtle but important difference between a move operation and a failover operation. Now something that's quite unique to Zerto is the timed commit or rollback function of a move or a failover. But in this case we're talking about moves. And what this gives you the ability to do is to, to automatically set a specific period of time that the move is either going to stay at the target location or it will automatically roll back to the source site. Now this is very important if you have agreements with application owners or other departments as far as an SLA that the end user acceptance testing has to be complete or the machine has to roll back to the originating site. This is a, another example of the experience that Zerto has with production environments. Uh, commit or rollback is a quite complicated thing to do in other products. And with Zerto, it's a very easy integrated piece of just what's part of the workflow of a move. Now it's time to migrate a VPG from Site 1 to Site 2. Okay, so I'm logged into Site 1. I'm going to make some real estate room here because I have this zoomed up so much to make it clearer for you to see the details. I need to make some room in my vSphere client. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, inventory and going to scoot this over. Yeah, give me plenty of room. And then just adjust a little bit so we can see the full VPG. Now we're working with a VPG called WinApp1 VPG. And I've got it centered up. Now let's go to the Move button because that's where the action is. And let's look at our selections. So I've got the right VPG. I'm going to auto roll back this thing if I'm not happy with how it looks. Maybe the end user acceptance testing is, let's, uh, let's give it some time here. Let's say about 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 60 seconds would be fun. 
and if they're misbehaving on the source side I'm going to go ahead and force shut down. Now what that means is I'm, it's going to make that VM shut down if it's not behaving correctly. And then uh, check all my settings. Hit next. And then it gives me a summary of what I'm about to do. And I hit move. And I watch the action start. Now it's going to do a move before commit. And that tells me that I have some options there that either I'm going to commit it or roll it back. And that's part of the move workflow. So if I pull up the task, I can watch what's happening. And I'm going to pull the inventory over. And the first step that's going to happen is it's going to shut down the source virtual machine. So there it goes. And the move is commencing. Now let's go over to site 2 and look and see what's happening there. So I'm going to select site 2 and I see that I now have a WinApp 1 virtual machine with a cool little icon in the inventory that indicates that I have a VM that's being moved to this inventory and I can see that happening down in the task of the vSphere client because all of the Zerto operations are completely integrated in with vCenter. So I'm going to move some things around here and I can look at my VPG list and if I if I scroll over a little bit I'll be able to see a move operation status on that particular VPG. So there it is there at the top. I'm going to make some more room here that way we can see the full thing again. So we can drill into the VPG itself directly from this view. And it's going to show me a status just like what I see at the source site. So now I can decide whether I want to roll back or commit this move. And you notice the timer above that is 58 minutes. Now I decided to go ahead and roll it back. Because I'm impatient. Let's look at the task at the bottom and then we start moving over. And we see that the VM here is shutting down. and ultimately will be deleted. And we'll see all of that evidence in the recent task of the vSphere client. And there it goes. So that's the view from site two, and it shows us an indicator that we are rolling this thing back, and it's doing a cleanup, essentially. Now, if I go back over to site one, I see my green light turn back on because now I'm out of some sort of move or test status. And the VM in the VPG is in a protected state. Let's look at the task and it shows that it's powering up the VM. So I'm going to move over to the inventory. There the VM is powered back on. I want, I want to check it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'll actually open up the console and make sure that VM's coming up okay. And let's open the console. And there it is. And there it is. It's alive and back happy at the source location because of the rollback operation. All right, to summarize, we looked at the requirements of a migration or a move operation with ZVR, and then we actually moved to VPG. We did a commit and a rollback as well. Thank you for watching this Migrations with Zerto Virtual Replication, another podcast in the Zerto Master of Disaster series. If you want to learn more about other features of ZVR, watch the other podcast in this Master Disaster series as we explore other topics.